Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Doom Deathmatch. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you saw the... Yeah, there shouldn't be any monsters in this level. Yeah, I can't get out of this room I'm in. I'm, l I'm literally trapped in here. What room are you trapped in? In the one... The one in room that has like the toxic shit, like the one where you have to like run through the toxic shit to get to the one switch. It's like oh. near like the kind of the end of the level. The one where the uh, the rocket launcher spawn is. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Give me a little bit. I can open that up. Yeah. We decided we'd do a little bit of Doom Death match for you guys for a couple of videos here at the end of the year since I got done with the the two major reviews that I was working on, those Supposed to be a fucking shotgun. Where's the fucking shotgun? Might have to start all over because I'm not finding the goddamn shotgun. It's running at 120 FPS. And do one. <laughs> Yeah, I start. I started playing Doom Three finally. I mean, I played it in the past, obviously, but I never beaten beaten it before. So, I like. I'm almost Doom. done at this point. I like Doom Three, honestly. Yeah, I, lo I love Doom Three. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I used to play it all the time on the Xbox when it first came out, but I'm finally yeah. starting to get around to playing it, like I'm trying to beat it for for a change. I screwed up something when setting up this server because. There are no weapons in this map. Oh shit. But I found a sh Okay, th there's a shotgun. I have 72 rockets, because the, the, the rockets keep spawning in this room. Like, over and over again. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I did set items to respawn. There we go. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, there are weapons in this. Never mind. So, how was your Christmas, bro? Yeah, it's pretty good. Same old, same old. Like we we usually go to like our uh, family members' graves and put like uh, trees and like min miniature like Christmas trees and flowers on their graves and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. Every year, every Christmas Eve, then we come back and open presents and it's kind of a tra uh, tradition we do. Yeah. So what all did you get? Not not much. I I have uh, my parents gave me three hundred dollars credit on the cruise we're gonna do in uh, January. I got some, uh, other than that, I got some shirts from my cousin and stuff like that. Nice. So, how long is that? When is that cruise? It's in, I think it's in late January. It's a Disney cruise. We're going to like the Palmas and stuff, but we did, we did it last year as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to record more it. Oblivion. Except that I lost my Oblivion save. Oh, that, that's gonna hurt. Because, um... I upgraded to Windows 10, and I... I was having trouble getting my, uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was having trouble getting my, um... I, um, the antivirus working, so I. Oh shit! So I decided just to say fuck it and redo the whole goddamn thing. 
So I've spent the last couple of days just reinstalling literally everything. So I don't have a save game for Oblivion anymore. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, like, were you pretty far in that save file, or...? I had done six episodes, so not ultra far. Uh oh. That's still like three hours of gameplay. Yeah. It was, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to probably start a new character or something for you guys. Yeah. So that sucks, but, uh... Is what you it go is. for a different class. Make it more interesting, like change it up a little bit. Yeah. The frame rate bounces down to 60 every once in a while. And then it just fucking tanks, and I have no clue why. Like, I've got a 1660 Ti. It could be like any, any kind of issue. So many things that can go wrong. Got a or, or, or so many I, things that can affect it. It should not, ch even with the enhanced graphics of Zandronum, it shouldn't be a challenge for my fucking computer. Yeah, it's got to be some kind of like a weird issue. Yeah. So I got um. Well, I, I already showed you what I got, but I got um. The Angry Beavers, uh, uh, the entire series on DVD, which I'm really excited about. Because I fucking loved that show when I was younger. I'm looking forward I used to, to watch it, yeah, I used to watch it too. Looking forward to watching that again. Boy, you just damn near killed me. I figured I, I figured I was close. He got me down to 12 health. It seemed like he had armor on. I got 17 armor. There on. we go. I got the Secret of Mana remake for the PlayStation 4. Which I've been looking forward to, because I want... I never got to play Secret of Mana back in the day. It was a Super Nintendo game, and I never got to play it. I heard it was good. Yeah, it's supposed to be a very good RPG. Is that an action RPG or a, a turn-based? Action. Oh, yeah. I don't know too much about it, that's why I asked. It's got a gorgeous soundtrack too. So, and the the, the remake is like full voice acting. Kind of looks like a last gen game, but I'm not gonna hold that against it. Yeah. As long as it's fun. Yeah, really. Who cares what the graphics look like? In my opinion, like I don't, I don't think graphics should be a a factor in liking a game. Like you know what I mean. Yeah, art as style, as that's a different story. Like, it, yeah. art style can contribute to enjoyment of a game. And... But, uh... Graphics are less important than, uh, obviously, like, I, I like technically proficient graphics because I like the artistry that goes into it. Fuck. I knew you were somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> had to activate that secret uh, wall thing. I was looking for you. 
see what else did I get? Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, which I have always wanted to play. I heard it's basically Assassin's Creed, but uh, Middle Earth, which sounds oh, pretty yeah. cool to me. I, I, I need to play that too, honestly. Because I love Lord of the Rings, so. Yeah, I love Lord of the Rings too. For some reason, they turned Shelob into a hot goth chick. Not sure how that's <laughs> supposed to work. Okay. But that's <laughs> what they did with stuff. her. <laughs> I'm sure Tolkien would totally approve of, of the giant spider being a hot goth chick. I'm sure that's exactly what he intended. That's his original vision. It was too hot for the original novel, so yeah, they cut it out. I don't know if it was his original vision. I seriously doubt it. I just think it's funny. You know? Yeah. The last thing I thought was... The last thing I pictured in my head is a hot she -lob. Well, it exists, so... <laughs> I'm not sure why it exists. He's supposed to be this, like, gross... Giant spider, spider daughter yeah. of an even bigger spider named Ungolia. <laughs> we are going to do a, uh, a drive cast eventually talking about Rise of the Skywalker, but I haven't even seen it yet. Oh man, <laughs> I can't wait to I, I can't wait to hear like. What you have to say about it, honestly? Yeah, uh, I the, know how I'm I feel sitting, about it. I'm sitting here looking at it like, like I'm not that surprised that. That. Fans had such a visceral reaction to it because. Well, I'm going to talk about this more, but how the hell do you make a sequel to The Last Jedi? I guess you don't. <laughs> Apparently, the in, the in the case of Rise of Skywalker, you don't. <laughs> you can try, but it's going to be hard to make it. Yeah, like... Make it effective. I, I think you probably could have handed that mess to Stanley Kubrick and not gotten something great out of it. That would have been really interesting, holy crap. A Stanley Kubrick Star Wars would have been really interesting. Yeah, but... Uh, there, are so many fact there were so many factors working against that film before they even started filming. That It's hard for me to imagine it being anything other than... A ki kind of an incoherent mess. I just hope it's an entertaining incoherent mess. Yeah. I mean, like, the novelty of watching a new Star Wars movie makes it kind of better, for, for me anyway, but then once you start to think about it after the movie's over, it kind of starts to sink in how dumb some of the plot lines are, or some of the plot points are. Like, how many plot holes there are, and, uh... It just moves by so quickly. Like everything just moves so fast. Yeah. There's obviously some retconning going on, and yeah, because you have to finish. You have to write a sequel to the Last Jedi, which gives you almost nothing to work with, and finish off a trilogy. And on top, because it gives you almost nothing to work with, you basically have to uh, rewrite it. Re rewrite a lot of stuff. The Last Jedi, just so you have something to make a sequel to. So if it feels like two movies crammed into one, that's that'll be why. Which is what I keep hearing about it. Yeah, it feels like that. Like I I I keep on hearing people go back and forth between this sucks and this is there's no way this was ever going to be great because of the situation surrounding it. It was, yeah. 
And JJ did the best that he could. So I, I don't know. I guess I, it's yeah. I have. I, mean, I guess it's it. not really. Spo yeah, I mean, I guess it's not really spoilers that the emperor is in the movie, but him being in the movie in general is just so stupid, in my opinion. Yeah, he shouldn't, but like he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have survived that fucking. <laughs> yeah, I, like the Death Star exploding and Return of the I Jedi. I agree with you, but Snoke shouldn't have died in part two. Yeah, he shouldn't, yeah. He shouldn't have. You don't kill the fu- uh, Like, that's basic screenwriting 101. You don't kill the fucking villain in the second act. But it, it subverted your expectations. It has to be good, then. Well, it wasn't. And I think it fucked... Uh, I'm half convinced that he wrote it so... That, that he wrote it this way on purpose, because... I'm half convinced Ryan Johnson just d plain doesn't like Star Wars. And wrote a movie to try to destroy Star Wars. Once and for all, and... Did a pretty fucking good job of it. Ah. So, let's see what else did I get. I got the movie Get Out, which confuses me a little bit because I haven't seen it. I don't know anything about it. I, I haven't seen it either. I usually know at least something about games and movies that I... That I get for Christmas, but I, I don't know anything about Get Out, so that one kind of confuses me. So that was the, the first movie by uh, Jordan Peele, the first horror movie by him, anyway. Yeah, I saw Us, but I, I didn't see Get Out though. Was Us any good? It was okay. It wasn't anything to like. It wasn't like this masterpiece of horror, like some people say, but. Some people, I don't know. Some people put him on this huge pedestal, like he's one, like he's a master, a master class in horror making, and blah blah blah. I'm like I don't know about that. I mean, it wasn't like a bad movie or anything, but it wasn't some kind of like ten out of ten, like the next Shining type of horror movie. But I mean, it's 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 good like popcorn horror, I guess you can say. Let's see. I got. Um... Uh, Red Secret Agent Clank for the uh, PlayStation Portable, which is a game that I've always wanted to play. It's supposed to be pretty fun. And I really like the Ratchet and Clank series. There's a lot of very good games in it. Yeah, I had one for the PSP as well. I don't, I don't know if it's that one, though. There was, there was also one called Size Matters on the PSP. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one I had. That's the one I played. Size Matters is a good game. Yeah. It's a good 3D platformer. That was, yeah, that was fun while I had it. Because I, I sold mine pretty early on. My PSP in general. <laughs> yeah, I loved the PSP. Like, I played the I did shit too, out of that thing back in the day. Because I, I used to play a lot of Bay City stories and shit like that. And obviously, uh, Size Matters and some Naruto games here and there. The only thing I ever, the only thing I ever saw of Naruto, and it annoyed me instantly, was him sitting there screaming his head off about he's a ninja, but he's like the loudest guy in the world. Yeah, and, I mean, and he is wearing this orange jumpsuit, which no ninja would be caught dead in. Yeah, like, I was, I mean, Naruto was the first anime that I really, like, seriously got into, like, when I was a kid. Like, I was, like, f obsessed with Naruto. And, I mean, I still think it's a good series, but it's, it's definitely one series you have to, like, really, like, like, sit through, like, the first couple, like, seasons, or the first couple seasons, or the first batch of episodes and arcs and stuff. 
to get into it. I mean, it's not for everyone. I mean, it's a good shonen series, but... That is the full extent of my knowledge of Naruto. <laughs> a guy in a orange jumpsuit screaming his head off about how he's a... Yeah. Nerd. That's about it. The, the English dub's kind of annoying, because he's always screaming, like, believe it and shit in the English version, and... I don't know, it's... It's, not, it's, it's definitely not for everybody. Like that, and, like, Bleach, and... One Piece and stuff. I, mean, I was never big on One Piece. I was big on Bleach as well, but... One Piece is that pirate one, right? Yeah, it's still going strong. I mean, it's, <laughs> it has so many fucking episodes. It's like Detective Conan, almost. It's the amount of episodes. Oh, shit, I'm dead. You yeah, were both dead now. <laughs> All I have is a pistol. Well, at least I got a frag out of it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, it, uh, developers. I, I, I can't remember who made this map, but yeah, thanks for not letting us get out of that pit. This seems like a Romero map, I don't know why. I think he he did most of episode it could, one. It could have been. He did most of episode one. And episode one is very, very good. There's a lot of great level design in So this upcoming year, I want to do Doom 2 at some point. Yeah. That'd be cool. I almost killed myself in the process of killing you. I got my frag back, because apparently you lose a frag if you die. I forgot about that. Yeah. I had negative one when we started. <laughs> and I lost my frag again. God damn it. <laughs> I killed myself with a rocket. I wonder if we if we if we hit the exit sign. I wonder if it takes us to the next map in the queue or the next map in the actual like uh, Doom game. I don't know. You want to find I'm out? I'm afraid. I have a feeling it's going to take us to E1M4. <laughs> it's not what I told it to do, but that doesn't mean that Doom so, Explorer is going to fucking listen. Because I might only trigger when you uh, get the number of frags, but I'll do it right now actually. No, nope, oh, this in, is uh, E3, E3 M1. E3, yeah. Kinda interesting. It's smaller map, at least. We're both gonna run out of ammo. <laughs> I get a shotgun or something. Negative yeah, one. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Go. So I guess means Chasm is the third map because uh, that's the third map we picked. Oh, did you choose this map? Yeah, I chose this map. I oh, okay. Uh, I was like, <laughs> I thought I did it randomly. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. I fucking hate Chasm. <laughs> it's one of the worst. It's, it's one of the worst. It's interesting. <laughs> Gotta give it that. Great. Now I'm stuck. It's cool looking up like the speed run history of like Chasm, like what the, the the strats they use. Yeah. I'm stuck in the fucking exit. I'm making my way there actually. That, right that now. is a one-way door. God damn it! I didn't. I don't remember oh, this. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, I can't. Yeah, I'm trapped in here too now. The other door is uh, one way as well. I never even knew that. What the fuck? Never had that problem in the actual game. The much smaller map. Mm-hmm. Makes for a better deathmatch map, I guess. 
God damn it. <laughs> I have like no HP left. I have like 10 HP in total. Fuck! <laughs> Die, you H no <laughs> HP having bitch! Well, to be fair, I have 50 now. I got a medkit. For transparency's sake. Great, I'm still stuck on negative kills. I go get the shotgun and that leaves me half dead. I got a med kit, so that'll help. We're at the exit. Oh shit, wasn't he paying attention? <laughs> Figures. This is one way. God damn it. Yep, stuck again. Fuck. Okay, I feel a little better now. I have positive frags. <laughs> and 30 health. It's nowhere near so as much. dark. Yeah, but it, yeah, and it really, like your flashlight's on you at all times. You just press the F key. The I did not it. mean to do that. And um, and what else? Oh yeah, you get double the amount of ammo every pickup. So you have like, you have like basically max ammo for like all your weapons at like all times. I have like over a hundred rockets and shit. Like, it's way too easy. I'm on, I'm on veteran as well. I can't play on nightmare. I wanted to play on nightmare, but nightmare is unfair bullshit. <laughs> I wonder how it is in Doom Three. I, don't, I can't remember if the enemies respawn in Doom Three, like how it is in the other games. In Doom Three, you basically have. Um... If I remember right, it, it, it's twenty. You can get above twenty-five health, but your health constantly counts down. Oh sh! Oh god! I didn't know that. Down to twenty-five. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, nightmare was never meant to be a fair difficulty. Cause like, I, it's like so easy. Like I, I've been having such an easy time with Doom Three. It's kind of disappointing almost. I mean, I, I mean, when I first played the game. But when I first played the original PC version, I didn't get too far. I mean, it was pretty hard. I, I was always running out of ammo for my weapons all the time. But in this game, I have so much ammo, like, constantly. I never have to worry about running out of, like, chain gun ammo or plasma gun ammo. Because they, they, they really made that BFG edition with the consoles in mind. Because you get, like, double... You basically get double the amount of ammo every pickup you find. That's what I was telling people the other day. Was uh, they made? That's what that's what I remember telling people back when it came out. Like all the PC gamers were complaining about BFG Edition not being a huge upgrade or whatever. And I'm like, it's not. It wasn't so, meant for yeah. PC, dude. It was meant for the consoles. Yeah, really. Because it was, it was only ever on the Xbox prior to that. So I was used to the Xbox version back in the day, but. Ah, uh, you got me. I did a shitload of damage to you, but you got me. Did you have harbor? I got a... I, I, yeah, I got a... I, I had the soul sphere, yeah. That'll do it. Yeah, that's why I couldn't... That's <laughs> yes. why I didn't kill you.
The frame rate just keeps tanking, and I have no clue why. Yeah, mine's pretty consistent overall, but as yeah. memos are kind of like. Oh, black I got Die Hard, uh, 4K, which uh, the 4K ver transfer of Die Hard, which uh, Die Hard's an awesome, awesome Christmas movie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thank you.